dream when I was a little small student in the faculty of pharmacy looking toward this position. And now I'm graduated, I'm standing in the pharmacy working as a pharmacist, taking prescriptions from patients and reading them carefully, and then taking drugs from the shelves, and then writing doses on these drugs, and finally, with a big smile, saying to the patient, good health, and then he came back, thank you, Dr. Ahmed. So I enjoy the music of this word, Dr. Ahmed. So Dr. Ahmed stand up, Dr. Ahmed is walking, Dr. Ahmed is coming back. So I'm Dr. Ahmed, I now finish, I achieve my game. And here, always in the pharmacy, was my teacher and my mentor, Dr. Edward. He always teaching me and advising me toward this profession, how to be a very great pharmacist. So everything was going so hard. I'm so excited this great day. Until one patient entered in the pharmacy, and this patient was a very masked face, and also a huge body, and it seemed that he's very, very angry. So he approved the pharmacy and holding a syringe in his hand. So he entered the pharmacy, I'm like, okay, I want to take this syringe. So I did. So bad. Okay. Okay, okay, just one minute, please. So I come back quickly to my teacher. Okay, please, Dr. Edward, this man wants to take syringe. Want to take the injection. So I didn't get injection once before in my life. This is the first day for me as a pharmacist. So please, doctor, show us how to be a pharmacist. So Dr. Edward looked at him and he said, Ah, you will give him the syringe. You have to believe in yourself. Give him the syringe. Okay, okay, Dr. Edward, but, but, but I can't, doctor, I can't. This is the first day for me as a pharmacy. I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning. So please, doctor, you could, we could delay this person for another time. So please, you could give him injection because I may hurt him. So Dr. Edward gets so angry. I said, now you are a pharmacist and no way for that. You have to go, go inside in the injection room and give him that injection. Don't worry. So it's a very, very big challenge for me. <laughs> I took the syringe and it's filled with the drug and invited this patient inside in the injection room and they were so afraid and so terrified because it's the first time for me. So the man started to be prepared to get the injection. So then I entered the injection inside. I started to press. So it doesn't work. <laughs> Nothing going inside. So it has to be moved like this, but it doesn't move. It's very fixed. So I tried a lot, I tried not to do that. Nothing is going on. So, it's fine. so the man started to get angry because I have a minute. Pass and said, like, Did you finish? <laughs> so, okay, no, not yet. Okay, please, please. <laughs> calm down, please, calm down, please. So I quickly went to the beach. Please, Dr. Edward, come. This is it doesn't it doesn't work, Dr. Edward. So Dr. Edward come so quickly. What's going on? It doesn't work, Dr. Edward. I'm still pressing, pressing for half a minute. It doesn't work. So Dr. Edward again laughed so much and he told me, this is all these substance. It takes time. It's very viscous. So you have to be patient. Just wait, please. So after one minute from that, I finished finally this uh, syringe and the patient gets so angry. Did you finish? Did you finish? Mm -hmm. And finally I finished this pharmacy and finished the injection. After that, and after this very damn situation, the first day for me in the pharmacy, I learned a very important lesson that you have to face your fears. Because if you are running away from your fears, you are actually running away from your growth. No pain, so no gain. So you have to take and resolve today and every day to take this step every day to face your fears, to do something you are afraid of every day. Even if it's very small, but by this way, and I guarantee you, and the death of fear will be certain. I think all of you know what's meant by comfort zone. Do you know what's meant by comfort zone? Comfort zone means that this is the people that you are dealing with every day. And this is the work that you are working every day. So if you are always doing these things every day, you are living in your comfort zone. Actually, you are not living, you are dying. Because there is nothing new in your life. Nothing motivating, nothing challenging. So there is no growth. So take this chance and face your fears every day and I guarantee you will be a very successful. Thank you so much.